Hey guys, thought I would uh, share with this with you guys about the clutch cable since I'm going to be doing a repair to this thing. If you guys have ridden with me in this car, um, you'll notice that it's always had a clutch chatter when I let the clutch out. It kind of goes, shakes a little bit. Uh, I'm going to explain to you what causes that. I'm going to show you fixes, shortcuts, all kinds of stuff for fixing that. I don't know what happened. I usually get it right you know I don't usually have that problem so but for some reason maybe I put this thing together in a hurry I don't remember what the deal was but I'm gonna go ahead and fix it I don't know if I'll show the entire process uh, all the way through because it's very hard to film in there but I do have a pan right here off the body, the body off the pan and it's much easier for me to show you guys on this than it is trying to film it from underneath so we're gonna talk about a couple things there's a couple things I forgot about because I've always used since a long time ago I've always used the wing nut style um, and we were on the road it was with Bob that little shout out to Bob he's a great guy from Michigan watches the channel we were doing the Treffin and drive and we got a clutch cable from a guy to put in a lady's car and we realized that these were six millimeter threads on some of them and some of them are eight millimeter the later models with the wing nut were eight millimeter and for some reason and I just completely forgot about that so because I've always used the eight millimeter ones with the wing nut and now one of the things you're gonna run into when you run with the wing nut is we'll talk about a couple different things we're gonna talk about the boat in tube which is really important but one of the things we're going to talk about is this wing nut is normally what I do when I have a car apart is I'll run through my transmissions and I'll look for a straight arm clutch arm this one that goes straight up and down right here and I'll put the straight arm on the earlier trans because it's a lot easier to get the wing nut on if you notice this is kind of tight right here between this bolt between these threads right here and this bolt it's a little tough to get that wing nut on so they have a straight arm we'll show you what that is here's one I know this transmission is kind of buried but anyway that's a straight arm you can see what that looks like they came on I think 67 and later and the early ones had this rounded arm like that so a huge shortcut on this a lot of people don't know this I'm gonna go over some of these things so that you guys can get to know them is on this boat in tube it has to have a bow in it like that if you see there's a nice bow in there that should be about right and if you notice right here there's a stack of shims in here so uh, and to get those shims on there normally what you have to do is you have to take the clutch cable out and then you'll stack a bunch of shims on here which are basically washers and those washers uh, you, you you put a bunch on then you might go oh shoot and you drive it and it's still shaking when you take off and so you go back and you take this thing all the way off yeah taking that whole thing off and then you loosen this up then you pull this thing out put more washers on you don't have to do that okay um, that is really hard to do when it's in the car and then about the third time you do it yeah you'll probably be playing around with this thing enough and you'll drop the uh, loop you'll drop the loop off the pedal assembly for the clutch right <laughs> you've probably done that one before haven't you so trick number one is if you're underneath the car you stick your pair of vice grips on here and you put this thing forward and then you shove it up underneath the floor so that it jams up underneath here you get the right I we used to know the exact right vice grips we used to have one pair of vice grips that we used to use just for doing this and you push that guy forward like that makes it a whole lot easier to get your wing nut on number one um, 
but you have these vice grips jammed underneath on the floor uh, you get the right like I said you get the right ones and you'll find out you might try two or three different sizes and pairs and whatever you'll find the one that works right so you use this to hold this forward now what you do is while this is jammed forward I'll see if I can do it with my knee or something then what you do is you wiggle this guy forward right here okay now what you do is you take your washer and you notch it out like a horseshoe so you take your washer you throw it up in the vise like this and you just cut a whole you cut it so it looks like a horseshoe you guys know what a horseshoe looks like right so this part here you're going to cut away this whole section so that that's open all right with your cutoff wheel or whatever all right so i figured i'd just do it for you guys once so you cut it out like that now what you do is while you're pulling this thing forward you pull that guy forward you see that space in there see that space right there it's a little tricky to do when it's in the car but it's not that bad You shove that washer in that hole shoot shove it in there now you got bow on your tube that's how you do it that's the shortcut way to do it and and once it's in there and there's tension on this it'll stay there pretty much forever I've never had one fall out so you can twist it around and put that part on the top if you're really worried about it but that's the shortcut way to boat and tube to uh, redo your boat and tube without having to take all this garbage apart uh, I've done it I don't know hundreds of times I actually found it I remember I was working on a car a long time ago and a guy had done it before I I went to pull off the boat and tube and all the washers all fell out and I went oh my god you're a genius so uh, I was like man I'm doing that from now on so I just notch them out and shove them in there and then put some more bow in the tube if I've got a little clutch chatter and that makes that go away now the other thing you always want to make sure you do is I, I never see I mean a lot of times I'll see people that they don't put enough grease on the on the uh, clutch cable and generally you've got to put a lot of grease on that sucker really carefully inspect your hook if your hook is worn on in there uh, and worn back in the groove either replace it or weld it up and grind it and smooth it make sure it's really nice and smooth in there and the same thing just take a nice big finger full of grease and right before I shove that sucker in I'll just put a big old fatty of grease on the end of there you can't put too much grease on it and then that clutch cable when I do that, do that, I rarely ever break one. They last me for years and years. Usually, that's why I say I can't even remember. Well, I put a car together, I put all new stuff in it, and then I almost never, or sometimes I won't even put new stuff in. If it looks like a good German original clutch cable and it's in great shape, I'll just run it. But I'll grease it really good and make sure all that stuff's right. Make sure the hook is, you know, not wearing its way through, and. I put a big fatty of grease on there and put a lot of grease on the cable when I put it in. Almost never have clutch uh, cable breakage. Then again, I'm not driving like I used to when I was a kid, you know, always slamming the clutch and, bring, you know, sidestepping it, you know, in the gear and all that stuff. Breaking trans mounts, breaking nose cones, all that stuff, you know. Had to have a tranny strop on every tranny I ever had in my car because I'd always break them. So, but that's all, that's all I used to drive. I don't drive like that now. I realize it's just not worth it to break the equipment. So, anyway, that should help you a little bit. Oh, another thing I was going to put in this video. The other thing you want to do is you want to inspect your clutch tube. So, this is the clutch tube right here where this goes in. So, you want to make sure that that where it's welded right here is good it's welded in three places it's welded right here in the back where you can get to it 
it's welded right here somewhere about right here in the side and how you get to that is you have to just cut a hole in the other side not this side from the other side you cut a hole and then you can because if you cut through here you'll probably cut right through your tube and then you'll have to replace the whole tube so you cut a hole in the other side and you reach in there and weld it and that's where they come unwelded they come unwelded right here where it goes in right in right there at the top you can almost you can see it it's hard to see this one these early cars are different there's a lot more space in the later models but you can see right where it's welded there it needs to make sure that that welds so when i do the pan inspection on this car i'm going to reach in there once i get the thing off and i'm going to wiggle that thing and see if it's all welded in really good if it isn't then i'll open it up and weld in from the other side the clutch tube and the third place which it almost never breaks is up here there's another place about right i think it's about right in here and you get to the same thing from the other side you cut a hole and i've seen guys they put an access plate on that side i don't ever do that and the reason i don't do that is because this is a huge part of the support of the car and i don't want to take metal out and then i not put it back on so putting a hole on the other side you're really kind of compromising the strength of the car this is like the frame this piece right here so anyway you cut a hole on the other side and they, some guys cut an access hole and they'll put a you know a dummy plate on there i, I would not do that so because you almost never need to go in there you know if the clutch you learn how to put on your clutch cable you don't need access to that side because what you do is you put the clutch in put the arm forward you can even use duct tape and hold it down if you want to and then go crawl underneath your back and then pull that thing up tight and then just keep tension on it and the, usually i've never had the hardly rarely rarely ever had the hook come unhooked you got to do something kind of stupid to make that happen but um i you know i i don't ever want a hole that i leave on the other side there because of the frame this is like the frame of the car so anyway uh that's enough about that i'll talk to you guys in the next video please like share and subscribe